Hi Chams, how are you? Yeah, welcome to our channel Maths Mill. Today we are going to discuss about our regular 10th grade, 10th grade CBSC pattern. So in 10th grade, what are the topics we are having? Mathematics. Which topic how to approach and which topic will score well? This and all I am going to uh, deal in these videos like 10th grade 10 CBSC part 1 part 2 like that the uh, videos will be released. Please follow me and get good knowledge in 10th grade mathematics subject as well as hopefully you will get good score also. So coming to the topic in our mathematics 10th uh, grade textbook we are having 14 topics actually we are having 15 constructions topic has been deleted and not only constructions topic there are so many changes are there that and all are going to i am going to be explain what are the changes we are having in 10th grade ncrt because last year and before last year the exams not that much fair because last year two terms they have conducted first term is completely objective second term is completely subjective and they have clubbed those two marks and they have announced the result so coming to this year it is only one term examination that is pen and paper test 80 marks and internal assessment marks 20 marks so compared to last year this year they have reduced some syllabus so almost 30 percent of the syllabus has been reduced from all the topics for example from the first topic it is real numbers they had given proving of root 2 is irrational and they have eliminated that euclid's division lemma some type of concepts and coming to second top topic polynomials in that polynomials by quadratic uh, polynomials are there that and all has been eliminated but uh, once again i will give complete slides of the syllabus what those are going to give in this particular year 22-23 so 30% uh, of the syllabus has been reduced from the textbook so i am going to post the slides which and all has been uh, deleted what are the topics has been deleted what and all the topics you have to be learned from the textbook and what are the reference books everything model papers worksheets everything is keep on posting in my youtube channel so please uh, support and follow me you will get more knowledge from these topics so coming to expected examination pattern for 22-23 for 10th grade once you can observe total marks are 100 pen and paper it will be 80 marks and internal assessment marks will be 20 so in this particularly compared to last year 21 22 we are having two terms what is first term as well as second term first term completely objective and second term is completely subjective part they have conducted so this year not like that this year it is going to be pen and paper 80 marks and well into internal assessment 20 marks now the expected pattern of this pen and paper from the 10th, 10th board that we are going to be discussed now okay so the expected question paper pattern it may be like this it is expected i'm saying once the cbsc board releases the original question paper pattern again i'll do a video so first it is mcqs and case based and source based questions you may get 40 percent out of the 80 marks 40 percent in the sense 32 marks you may get it and otq overthinking questions like case study or some other type of questions we may get it that it will come as 20 percent and short or long answer questions you may get 40 percent that is also 32 marks 32 marks and remaining 16 marks you may get from the complete examination okay <coughs> so most of the students are writing uh, to the to get to know what is the paper pattern how many questions will come which question contain how many marks so internal choice is there or not there 
that and all so many questions uh, arising in your mind right so to give a clarity i am giving an expected examination pattern for 22 23 it is again i am saying expected and once from the board released if, if there is any modifications i will get to know again what are the uh, paper pattern everything again i will inform you but before that you have to be get to know the examination is going to be conduct as two parts part a part b okay part a part b part a consists 40 48 marks 48 marks so total you have to be write 46 mark questions out of 46 questions you are getting 80 marks hope you are understand so out of this 48 1 to 16 questions are mcqs multiple choice questions each question consists one mark so total 16 marks next 17 to 20 1 to 16 mcq mcq means multiple choice questions consists 16 marks each question one mark so hope your stud students are following and coming to 17 to 20 17 18 19 20 questions are there four questions case study based questions so case study based means already we know last year we learned that the case study what they will give some information based on that they may ask you questions so each question it will carry four marks so that is it is 16 marks 16 16 32 now question number 21 to 36 question number 21 to 36 it is also consists 16 questions it is each question 16 marks so sir each question one mark total 16 marks so 316 ja 48 you are getting is it clear in this very short answer questions in the sense one word answer questions for that one word answer questions you have to be give the answer directly or else one or two steps you can use but no need to fill the pages pages even though you can fill the page getting correct answer you will get only one mark only hope you understood about the part b now we are moving to uh, sorry part a part a now we are going to explain about part b so already out of 80 48 already over now we are going to 32 remaining 32 how the segregation that we are going to learn now so here in this part b 37 to 40 how many questions 37 38 39 40 four questions where short answer questions short answer means four questions each question consists two marks total it is eight marks hope you understood now next we can take 41 to 43 41 42 43 only three questions these three questions it will consist each one three marks three three is a nine now very long answer questions till now in cbse there is no five mark questions till now there is no five mark questions 41 to so 41 to 43 long answer questions 41 42 43 three questions long answer questions three marks okay okay but one answer questions also that is 46 46 44 44 44 45 46 3 questions are there for very long answer but each question consists five marks so 3 5 is 15 so it is 8 it is 9 8 plus 9 17 and it is 15 15 plus 17 is 32 we got it 32 again i am saying that all my dear students please follow this examination pattern 20 to 20 but one word i am saying i am saying it is expected expected i got from the resource which i am having madam all over india from that group i got that group i got so i am telling you if any modifications patients i'll inform you very soon okay this video regards
examination pattern expected examination pattern 20 to 23 so followed by coming next videos i'm going to explain proving of irrational numbers and followed by worksheets example sums as well as some important information regarding 10th class everything it is going to be upload so please follow me like share and subscribe so if you can follow my videos you will get good knowledge as well as good score in your 10th class examination thank you bye bye